What a comeback story it has been for Ty Lavatai. The senior quarterback tore his left ACL against Temple in 2022, missed most of spring ball, was third or fourth on the depth chart, and now he's going to get reps against Notre Dame, number 13 Fighting Irish in Dublin, Ireland. And Ty, what was the single greatest habit you developed to mount this comeback and get your spot back? Um, I think for me it was resiliency. Uh, something like that, uh, the ACL, something you kind of replay over and over after you get the surgery. Uh, you're going through rehab, going through workouts, knowing that uh, questioning whether it's going to be feeling like it was before. Um, and you know, you have doubts days where you don't want to do rehab, don't want to work out. Um, but I think the kind of the part of knowing that regardless of how I felt, kind of having to go back out each and every day and work out, you know, do rehab, recover, uh, was something I built that I feel like I didn't have as much of because I didn't have to face as much adversity. Um, going in for, I mean, besides the right knee injury sophomore year, but that was a quick, quick turnaround. Uh, so this was like my first real surgery. So uh, kind of back and, and knowing that regardless of how I felt was kind of something that I had to uh, fight through each day and come back. And I feel like now uh, headspace wise and mental space is, is, is a lot better because obviously you have days where it's not the best and days where you feel great, but then it can change really quickly. So uh, that was, I feel like the biggest thing that I've learned and, and, and built over the time. As you prepare for Notre Dame, what other examples of resiliency have you seen on offense? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think uh, everyone on the team right now, especially the O-linemen, have, have probably had the worst of it. They've, you know, Coach Chestnut has pushed them. Coach Ingram has pushed them uh, beyond limits they thought were capable. Uh, they come out each every day, though, uh, ready to work, ready to get after it, knowing that in the end they're, they're just looking out for what's best for us. They know that uh, them coming to work each and every day is going to make them uh, that much better of an O-line. And, and, I mean, we have a, a lot of returners and a lot of people who are, who are eager to play. So uh, I know that the competition and, and, you know, the enthusiasm they have coming out here is just going to help them become a better line. Before kickoff on Saturday, what part of your game would you like to refine more? Um, I think just decision making. I think that's something that as a quarterback you can always, uh, you know, build upon, be better at. Uh, something that I feel like for me, it, you know, here and there, you can kind of make some decisions that may not be the smartest, kind of force things. And I think just kind of taking what the defense gives you, uh, making sure that I don't make uh, mistakes that are going to shoot us in the foot. Um, it's probably the biggest thing I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can uh, accomplish this next week and making sure that the decision making is on point. Last year before your injury, you averaged almost 100 yards per game in the air. How is your accuracy leading up to kickoff? Uh, I, I feel pretty confident about it. I mean, I think that's something too that you know you can you can always build upon uh, something that you kind of have to take every rep as a game rep uh, because when you get in the game and you throw it, it feels the same. Uh, so kind of just having the mentality of even though it's practice, staying staying locked in, feeling making it feel like a game like scenario because you know they have some some good dudes up front, so that, you know that they're gonna give, giving us pressure. Uh, so just kind of making it as fast and as realistic as possible uh, is definitely something that I'm trying to emphasize too. Head coach Brian Newberry says you and sophomore quarterback Blake Horvath will likely get reps against the Fighting Irish. How has Blake made his teammates better? Yeah, uh, Blake comes out every day uh, ready to work. He's not a big talker, but you know when he when he comes out here, he he does the things right, does the little things right. He he's, has really good hands with the uh, triple option. He ran it in high school, um, and it's been it's been really fun to to be in the quarterback room with him, see him grow. Because uh, I mean, obviously last year he didn't really like play a lot. He was on the scout team, uh, and then being able to see him come into his own and and come out here and be able to lead them and and execute the way that he has has been really fun to watch. And I, I'm excited to see what he does. How do your skill sets complement each other? Yeah, I think both of us uh, in the triple option game. I think both of us are pretty, pretty comfortable and pretty confident. Uh, he hasn't taken snaps in a game yet, but I think that his his experience with the triple option and the way he holds himself is something that he will uh, allow him to to do really well in the in the triple option offense against some of these teams. So, thanks, Doc. Yeah, thank you.